as students, we need all the help we can get to make our studies easier, especially in this time of pandemic when our teacher cannot directly provide us with the guidance we need to understand our lesson. As of today, technology has been our most reliable helping hand. Technology makes study a hundred times easier. One of the technology innovations that helps students drastically is a graphing calculator. The first graphical calculator was developed in 1985 by Casio. As time passed, graphing calculator has evolved into applications. Today, I, Alia Jean Granada, will show you how to transform linear equation into a digitalized graph using a graphing calculator app named Desmos. Firstly, let me introduce the question. Suppose that the water level of a river is 34 feet and that is receding at a rate of half a foot per day. Get an equation for the water level y after x days. And how many days will the water level will be 26 feet? This question is from Robert Orich from YouTube. Next, let's identify equation in a form of y equals mx plus b. Let m be negative 0 point foot and let y intercept be 34 feet leaving us with a final equation of y equals negative 0.5x plus 34. The next step will be to download the app Desmos. This app can help you create graphs ranging from lines, statistics, to calculus. Once you've downloaded the app, press the three horizontal bars located on the top left corner of your screen. Then, select lines, slope intercept form. You'll see y equals mx plus b formula on your screen. Replace the formula with the equation you made earlier. After you've entered the equation, the graph should be displayed automatically. Now let us find the x or the time for the river to rise up to 26 feet. Suppose the expression is y equals the quantity of negative 0.5x plus 34. Let's add negative 34 to both sides, leaving us to the quantity of negative 2 multiplied to negative 8 equal to negative 0.5x. Multiply to the quantity of negative 2, leaving us the answer of x equals 16. Thanks to the graphing calculator, you spared a lot of time. Now you don't have to manually draw a graph because you can make an app make it for you in a blink of an eye. This was with me, Alia Jean A. Granada, and I hope to learn with you next time.